Okay, we are here with Sam, and Sam just Yo. did the unthinkable. He took the most insane deck, heroes of all decks, and nice. for his first place at local. Sam, what did he do today? Guys, we uh, we came out from locals. It's twelve forty-seven a.m. Yeah. You guys watch this video, <laughs> June 29th. Uh Yeah, we just came first place at heroes. Just a small, a small local. It was like, box tournament, twenty-two players. Yeah, it was like it's twenty-two player bad. box tournament. Not bad, four rounds, uh, just like full standings. I came four zero. Uh, you know what I'm saying? This deck is absolutely insane with the new Battles of Legends support, with the new Flaming Man, uh, Infernal Rage. That card is just absolutely insane. And, yeah, heroes are actually good now. Put some yeah, he heroes are actually insane. Like, not only, like, they have a, a spell lock in, in terms of Dark Angel, and it also has, they have their own version of Satellite Warrior now, which is absolutely insane. That can pop infinite amount of cards, depending on the amount of attributes that's on the field. So, the deck is just really hot. It's really heat. Can't wait to showcase you guys what I played, but uh, this deck is just really amazing. So, yeah, you just know, I, I, I won a Battles of Legends box. Uh, just a pretty quick locals, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, we just got back. Steven and I both got back today. And let's get let's get into it, right? Let's do it. Okay, first and foremost, so I'm with two straddles, uh, only two copies because two strat. Honestly, I love the perfect five variation of any card in the deck. So you got two straddles, three hero lens, one ruler, right? So it's essentially just like four straddles in the deck, which is really, really good. Two copies of straddles, bread and butter of the deck, also pops back row. It's really, really good. A lot of people would forget that. It can be floodgates, so channel miss really great. Obviously, the best one to ask the dark law before. Listen, dark law walked, so a rise heart can run. Okay, <laughs> just let you guys know one liquid soldier, and of course, one elemental hero. Nils, you know, this card is so good. Uh, honestly, the, like all these heroes aren't bricks in your deck because Ferris turns any hero that breaks in your deck become good, yeah. unless unless you draw increase. Well, I'll explain to you guys later, but anyways, and you think um, it's good too, too. Yeah, two, two, one. You can one. get them anytime you yeah, want. Yes, so right? you can get anytime you want. Hero yeah. lives, like the, the whole deck searches each other, yeah. right? Yeah. And you also have Foolish Barrel, too. If you need to send Shadow Miss to search anything, Foolish Barrel is there. So that's pretty much it for your hero engine. I'm not playing Honest Neals. I wanted to minimize the amount of bricks I'm playing in the deck uh, as much as possible. So no Honest Neals uh, in the deck. For the Destiny heroes, two Manlies, one Plasma, one Denier, and one Dark Angel. I The only thing that I change is I probably put Plasma in the side deck and then put in Honest Neals instead for the Plasma. You know, I'm, I'm, going first, you're always aiming for the Dark Angel lock regardless. List. Yeah. So it's really unlikely that you're gonna be trying to go for plasma, but it depends yeah. on what you're playing against. So I feel like usually in some matches that plasma is good against, whereas Dark Angel isn't. It's good to just switch them, uh, you know, around for games two and three. Uh, but definitely, I think plasma sh plasma should be going to the side, and this should be an honest deal for sure. But the hero engine. Next off, I'm playing three copies of Ferris. This is the bread and butter of the deck. Don't play two copies of this. You need to max it. This is the best engine in the deck for sure. Yeah. Uh, the Vion and the one increase. So in the tournament, you know, I, I like we did solve the issue of this card going second. I drew these twice today in the tournament. Uh, but going second, you just go, you know, Ferris send increase from your hand. Summon Ferris, just crash into it. Crash to the monster so you put hit increase into your spawn trap card zone. Big and, brain. Then, and then you can just couple off by just normal summoning anything and just go off into your violent play and stuff like that, right? Going second but going first if you hard draw this kind of sucks so it's kind of like talking to steven after the tournament i'm just reflecting how like this card was kind of annoying to draw but if you you know have like any other combos like fusion destiny or any way to play through it you don't really need him you know added two of steven was saying earlier to me the more you add in your deck the more chances you're going to be like drawing it right so like you know the 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 logic with three brilliant fusion and one garnet I'm gonna stick to that. I, I wanna minimize the amount of bricks that I have yeah. in my deck as much as possible. And what people fail, fail to realize is that the best way to play around, you know, your increase getting stopped is usually like when this happens, uh, when they stop your increase or they ask your increase, you wanna try to hold the roller or, you know, like whenever your hero lives, if you feel like they have a way to stop your increase, you wanna just, a hero lives or straddle, straddle, search Vion, right? Yeah. If you already have full combo that way, because the most important card in your deck is polymerization. And if you don't have access to that, your combo basically just fizzles, right? It, it doesn't do anything. So, you know, it's really good to, I actually might even bump this up to three. It's how good, like polymer yeah. search and polymerization is so good. Yeah. And people don't know this, but I'm gonna tell you guys a secret. Playing against heroes, the choke point is always on the increase. If you don't have Vion, the increase gets the Vion, and that's this is the card you stop. Yeah. You don't ash anything else. Okay, you ash this, you ogre this, you you, you stop this. Yes. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So that's the, definitely the choke point for the deck for sure. So Vion definitely needs to be a three of. For your searchers, triple here lives, Lord of One Foolish. These are all like, considered search cards in the entire deck. This is also a search card because you can dump channel miss as well. It's really, really good. It's just really amazing card. Fusion Destiny, best card in the game? Best card in the game, bro. I don't, I don't know why this card's at three. This mm -hmm. card's broken. Like on, on its own, is just too much. Yeah, searchers, more infusions, poly, Miracle, really great, and of course, two mass change, which is absolutely amazing. And the last card I'm playing the deck is the one the favorite contact card is broken. Basically, you can shuffle from your hand, field, grave, or banish into the deck, so it's a miracle fusion. The fusion summon one, uh, you know, hero monster from your extra deck, and then you use an elementary hero, Neils, as a material. Neither player can return the special summon card by this effect 
into the deck. You summon Shiny Neal's Wingman, and my opponent, one, one guy tried to unicorn the, the Shiny Neal's Wingman back, but this card <laughs> doesn't allow that to the monster to be returned to the extra deck. So this card is just so powerful. So Infernal Rage fixed the entire deck, and I love this card. This card is like the best card in the deck for sure. So another miracle in the deck, which is really great. You guys also see how crazy the slides is. It's TX1.com, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Best, best sleeves the, in the game. Best sleeves in the game. You know, TX1 I use the same com. ones for my deck. Steven uses the same. Everybody uses these sleeves, guys. Honestly, it's the best sleeves ever. So anyways, beautiful. These, this is 30 cards, okay? 30 cards, mandatory 30 cards, okay? You can't cut it. You cannot cut anything from here. There's 10 flex if spots. If anything, maybe add a 31st Vion, nothing else. Yeah, maybe 31st Vion. That's it. Nothing else. 10 flex spots, call by. Steven, Steven hates this card, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Card but <laughs> I might cut this, but my, my, my logic is that it's good against Brandon. She's like another good friend for Brandon Red. Uh, three Ash, three Imperm, and then three Nib. This card's absolutely amazing. This engine worked really, really well. Uh, I hate Brandon so much, so like Ash needs to be in here. I'm definitely gonna be cutting this. Maybe we cut this, put three Drolls, and like two Bell to make it 41, I guess. Yeah. I think Droll is insane. Like, Drip, like yeah. Steven was telling you about Droll. Like, I played two Drolls in the side deck because I didn't have Drolls in front of it. And I have to buy a Tactical Masters <laughs> to get Drolls. These cards, these cards just end games. Uh, sometimes Nib can become dead. You have to make a Rise Hard pass. So, Steven is right. Definitely, dro Droll definitely needs to be in here. But these are just 10 flex spots you guys can utilize, whatever you guys like. But I probably cut this, add in three Drolls and two Bells to make it 41. So. Yeah. I, I would not go past 41 though. I yeah, think yeah, yeah. 41 is just like the perfect number yeah. for this deck. Uh, let's go on to the extra deck. Infernal Rage. Card's amazing. It's <laughs> uh, you search favorite contact and you also get access to the sunrise, which is really powerful. Shine Neal's Wingman gains 300 for each hero in the grave. And also when it destroys a monster by battle, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to the monster destroyed. So this card alone just ultikes your opponent. Absolute ease, absolute zero, sunrise, wake up hero. Amazing, helps you get Shadow Miss, Dark Law. Uh, I mean, the DPE, this card's a E hero, okay? Yeah. We're not calling it DPE, <laughs> we're calling it EEP. EEP. EEP, <laughs> we're calling it EP. Element to Hero Phoenix Enforcer, this card nice. is insane. Dangerous, I get the application of this card, but I've never ever made him. Dark Law, Mask Hero Blast, no acid, because this is your new acid right here. This is a new acid, yeah. This is a new acid, which is really, really good. So, Fusions, Dread Decimator, in front of the visor. Remember guys, this is the order you make them. So make it in front of the visor. Remember, this is a fiend, so you can't make cross crusader with this. It's a fiend. Don't cheat. So it's a fiend. So this is the order, okay? You make this, then this, this searches Neil's, and then you make this. Okay, so one, two, three. And then two of this, and one dread decimator. Dread decimator just comes up because of fusion destiny. This card becomes really good because you're locked into darts. But yeah, that's it's pretty much for my extra deck. Side deck, D barriers, two drills, uh, three bell. You know, these are all just really good cards. Still like just game ender cards. It's so good. Uh, three bells, thrust. Uh, this card is insane. Uh, Switch is Fusion Destiny 2, which is really good. So, uh, Dark Ruler, no more. Uh, Harpies, Brother Duster, and then 3 Emily Match. To round off for all the cards uh, you're playing in the deck. Guys, against Sprite, Melfi Sprite, you just always gotta bait the battle phase. So, you just go enter battle phase. They activate Sprite Starter, so bring out Carrot, and then they can't use their Melfi engine. So, <laughs> big brain plays. I did that a lot today. Nice. So, yeah, like they have to, they have to do yeah. that, or else their yeah. stuff becomes dead, right? Means, yeah. And if they, and if you do have it, like, like they have to be smart, better than you to think that you don't have it. But yeah. most or the whole board's gone. Or so the like whole board's gone. No choice. Yeah, so you have no choice to just do it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the deck, guys. The deck is absolutely insane. Uh, came first place. It was just a small box tournament, small locals. About Yo, some places don't get twenty-two players. Like we yeah. consider that small, but that's like that's yeah. huge for a lot of yeah. places. Yeah, yeah, but that's you know it's fun. You know it's fun. The deck is uh, amazing. Try it out yourself. You shout out to Br. Helping me play the deck, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. My first place hero deck. Let me know your thoughts, and that's pretty much it. It's your boy Sam. Have a good signing out. All right, guys. Steven, anything you want to say? No, guys, smash the subscribe button for both our channels. See you in the next video. Peace. Peace.